Hello everyone and welcome to 2022. Uh, I'm sure you had expectations as you plan to start this year all the way from 2021 and I hope that you're beginning to live or work towards those expectations. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the first video of the year. My name is Tolusha Francis. If this is your first time of joining this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell so that I can always know whenever I post new videos. Now, I'm going to be sharing something with you, even as a kickstart this year, that has to do with things that you need to do if you really want to enjoy 2022. Now, the essence of this particular video is first of all to welcome you and also to help you set the tone for 2022 so that you don't get um, to start it in a way that you have no clear cut goal and you have no clear cut um, vision or, or things that you want to achieve. Now, don't get it twisted, right? It's not everybody who sits down to write down a plan for the year. And I get that, right? But it's also important, right, that you tell yourself, this is what I want to experience. Uh, this is what I want to enjoy. This is what I want to have for myself, right? And so when I come back, I'm going to be sharing with you six things that I think you need to do for you to actually maximize 2022, right? Not necessarily your plan, your vision, or your goals, but certain things that you need to do for you to actually maximize 2022 and make the very best of it. I'll be right back. Hello once again. Um, so like I shared in my introduction, um, I did say that I'm going to be sharing with you about six things, right, that I think you need to do to make 2022 an interesting year for you, right? So I'm, I've made some notes here. Uh, I'll just, you know, share them with you, right, as we um, begin this year, right? I mean, the same way I'm sharing with you is the same way I'm also telling myself, right? And also putting some of these things into practice, right? For the ones that I've not been doing before, because I also want a fantastic year. I mean, who doesn't want a fantastic year? We all do, right? So number one thing is you need to have a to-do list. Now, a to-do list helps you to prioritize things. A to-do list helps you to determine the things that you want to do and how you want to do them. Now, the essence of a to-do list doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have it um, all year around your neck, do you get? But then, it helps you to focus, right? And helps you to you know, understand what you need to do per time and then you're not doing things haphazardly. So, have a to-do list. You could have them based on month. You could have them based on quarter, right? You could even have them weekly. I mean, whichever way works for you. But the most important thing is that you have something that you can live by and something that really, really works for you as a person. Now, the number two thing is focus. Now, it's very easy for you to write things. It's very easy for you to plan things, right? And it's very easy for you to lose focus, trust me. And that's simply because uh, the human mind wanders around, okay? Um, it takes extra work and extra effort to put something in perspective and stick to it. It takes extra work for you to say, this is what I want to do, this is my plan, and you follow through. Reason being that a lot of things will come your way that would um, distract you. A lot of things will come your way that would um, ask for your attention, right? So you need whatever it is that will make you remain focused. You need whatever it is that will make you, you know, stick to whatever plan you have made. So focus, right? Yes, so first time you can make a plan or make a to-do list like I shared earlier. But then you need to focus. You need to realize that this is what I want to do part time and stick to it. Number three is build relationships. Now I tell people that we are social beings, right? And we are social beings in the sense that we are, we are, our genetic makeup is such that we need people around us, either around us physically or around us virtually. Especially considering that the world has gone global now, uh, with the use of social media, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Mention it, right? You need a community. Uh, you need a community of people around you, right? That you can talk to, that can speak with you from time to time. You don't want to live in isolation because you're actually not wired that way, right? You're not wired to live in isolation. You are wired to interact with people. And in fact, that is why mental health considers your social well-being, right? Because it's expected that one way or the other, you're going to interact with people, you're going to have relationships, you're going to have communities and all that. So, Build relationships. The ones that you made from the previous year, nurture them, right? And look forward to building new ones. It could be industry-based relationships. It could be social relationships. It could be romantic relationships. It could be friendship. Whatever form it is, the most important thing is that you build relationships. And of course, blow your trumpet. Now, when I say blow your trumpet, when you do something, 
right? Blow it open. Let people know that this is what you're doing. Because if you don't blow your trumpet, who will? Right? You can't afford to be doing stuff and you don't have a presence either as a website or a social media channel. People need to know what you're doing. There is no way you want to get appreciated. There is no way you want to get seen without you being up there, right? So blow your trumpet. When you meet someone and you're having a conversation, sell yourself. When you meet someone and you're discussing things, sell yourself, sell what you do. It is not every time that it's just gist, chill, drinks and all that. No, share what you do with people, okay? Let them know what you do, let them know what exactly you are into. Blow your trumpet, either physically or through social media. The most important thing is people need to know this year what you are up to, right? So don't just have hangout and all you do is drink, chill and all that. Network, right? Build your empire by letting people know what you do so they can patronize you or even be part of your vision. If you don't tell them, how will they know? If they don't know, how will they support you, right? So be very deliberate about that. And of course, number five, be a channel. Um, so I'm a Rotarian, right? And one of the things in Rotary is that we give. I mean, Rotary International is responsible for um, working to, together with other financial to keep pulling you, you know, out of the world. Now, every Rotarian, every Rotaractor, every Interactor across the world gives to Rotary Foundation. And this money, no matter how small, about $10, is used in a way to treat diseases right disease prevention and control so be a channel right be a channel be the reason why one person will remain alive be the reason why one person will have a job be the reason why one person one person will be happy living right be the reason why one person can go to bed with a filled stomach that night give right you see the truth of the matter is if you can't give you cannot receive don't become a dustbin right don't just be taking and taking and taking and not willing to give it's be very very um disastrous if i can use that word and very very unfair right that all you do is receive from others but you find it difficult to give so be a channel now i'm not saying that you should break your bank to give no that is not what i'm saying the little you can give do plan it right be deliberate but plan it, okay? Know what you can afford per time and give that. Don't give and then you go begging. That doesn't make sense. No, don't do that. Give what you can afford, but give cheerfully. Give it happily, right? Give it and be excited that you are giving it. Don't give it and then you're scared that this that I'm giving, what will happen to me? And of course, finally, think forward, right? Um, you don't want to live a life that you're only thinking about now or you're only thinking about the past. No, you need to think forward. You need to think of tomorrow, the next. Now, that doesn't mean that you should not do things today. In every man's life, there's a past, a present and a future, right? The yesterday, the today and the tomorrow. Your yesterday is gone. You may not be able to change yesterday. If I cannot change yesterday, Right. You can only make changes to the things you did wrong yesterday and do them right today. Today will become yesterday by the time you get into tomorrow. So why not plan ahead of tomorrow, right? In your career, your mental health, your relationship, your business, plan, think forward. Think of the next step. Think of where you really want to be. Think of what you want to achieve, right? Don't just live in the now, right? Live with that mindset that there is a later right be deliberate about living in the now be deliberate about living in the later but don't let the past okay overshadow you so i have shared six things with you right which i'll quickly go over i said have a to-do list i said focus i said build relationships i said blow your trumpet be a channel and of course think forward this is my first message to you this year on this channel and i hope that it does meet you well and i hope that um it does make sense to you as well and you're able to share it with other persons so please 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 come along with me on the journey this year as we start again right and i hope that um, together we can do much more feel free to drop your questions 
feel free to ask your questions feel free to share your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below please subscribe please 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 subscribe you know even as you watch and share with family and friends once again my name is Tolu Chef Francis you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tolu Chef Francis on my blog tolushefrancis.substack.com right and let's do magic together till I come your way again have a rewarding 2022. Bye.